Hey everybody, well I've got a little gadget for the bike and I've actually got one of these to give away so keep watching I'll explain how you can win that at the end of the video. Uh, basically what this is, is if you think about it on a motorcycle you can engine brake and you can lose a lot of speed without ever touching your brakes. And for that reason when I engine brake I tend to just hold my front brake on very slightly just to make sure that my light comes on so people behind me know I'm braking. Well, this system basically can do that for you. The way that this works is you wire it into your tail light itself uh, and when it picks up through the accelerometer that's built into it um, that you'll decelerating through engine braking, uh, it will come on and you can either have it have your light on solid or have it flash. I want mine to flash so there is a definite difference between slowing down and stopping. This is what you get in the box, this is the unit itself. Let's just dump this all out. Right, that is literally it. The module itself, these three um, little tab connectors that are sort of mid-wire connectors, uh, and some instructions to tell you how to do what. Now, basically, gives you your manufacturer um, colour types and what to then connect them to. It does say here that you need to make sure that it's actually correct, but it would seem correct. I'm going to I'm going to trust this and see if it works. The two things you have to remember, three things even, is that this must be mounted in the bike level uh, and with the arrow facing point uh, forwards. If you want it to be a steady light when you decelerate, you have it with the logo up like that, and if you want it to flash, you just mount it upside down like that. And that's really all there is to it. They shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. So uh, let's go over to the bike. Okay, so I'm doing this on a 2010 Yamaha XJ6 die version, but it's the same for all of them really, because you have three wires going into your tail light, and that's the three wires you have to connect to. So in the little baggie, you get three, of these which are little midpoint connectors you basically put the wire here without stripping it close this over use a pair of pliers to clamp it down it will cut through the wire um, and it will give you a female spade socket to plug in the actual module itself which I think I'm going to mount under here with some velcro and maybe a tie wrap but yeah this should be reasonably easy obviously it doesn't matter which one of these you put on what because they're all the same it's what you connect them to afterwards that's important so I'm trying to stagger these Get a pair of pliers and clamp it, and that should have gone through. So we'll just repeat that. These aren't the best way of connecting things. Uh, if you want to do it the proper, proper way, um, I would personally chop this in half, put both ends into a spade connector, female, so you can solder it in, and then heat shrink it. So it's a, a much better sealed unit. But I'm going to test these as the manufacturer intended. So that's why I'm going to use the system they gave. Worst comes to the worst, I can just go back down the line, cut all these wires and remake leads to mat match up. Now, when you mount the unit, you need to make sure that it's level when the bike's level. Now, I've stood the bike up straight and it actually seems that the underside of this is perfectly level flat. So I'm going to use that. Um, to keep it in place I'm going to use self-adhesive velcro. I just need to double check this. Flashing brake light logo down. So forwards, upside down, so I want to stick it that way. That's stuck. I've got a bit of excess cable here but that loops in nicely. Then I need the chart. So, so in my case Blue red goes to number one, and number one for a Yamaha is blue. Yep. So, red, blue to blue. Correct? Correct. So they were the power supply wires. The signal wire would be the yellow one here, which is number two. Number two for Yamaha is yellow to yellow. That. Then we can guess that the last one's correct, although it would be worth just double checking to make sure there's no confusions. Green will end up going to black, and it has gone to black, so that looks all good. 
I've just used one of the supplied zip ties over the top to pull it into the frame so it's solid uh, and then I've put a piece of tape underneath to hold that in place so now it's it's a solid unit it's not moving uh, it's in line with the bike it's level so hopefully that's it so that all gets hidden away again back underneath the fairing now you might be thinking like I was to start with I don't need that you know I, I've always just covered the brake with my finger it's never been an issue and then I just thought well what about that time there's an emergency and you, you don't think to do that and you're you're heavy downshifting and well, I suppose then you'd be on the brakes but but then I thought about it and I was like well an extra safety device is never a bad thing as long as it works as it's supposed to and doesn't give loads of false brake lights or anything like that um, which they say it's you know they've done a lot of work into making sure that it only actually signals when you're decelerating as long as it does that, and that's great. Yep, so that all goes on nicely. It's a very neat install. Just double check. Lights on. Working. Working. So now it's to see what it's like on the road. Okay, so the system's been fitted and a highly professional uh, mount has been attached to the bike. That is not tape and zip ties, it's professional stuff. Uh, obviously when I'm riding there's going to be no way of me knowing if this is working or not. So uh, that's why I'm filming it and I'm going to try different amounts of deceleration, you know, see how sensitive it is. Um, and you'll know when it's working because it will be flashing, it won't be a constant light. I'm going to keep off the brakes. So uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, as you can see the lights are on brake lights are working. I'm not going to touch the brakes from now on and see if it uh, starts doing the automatic feature. Get up to speed. Now this is a bumpy road so maybe that might set it off, I don't know. This is all, uh, it would be very interesting to watch this back myself. So now I'm just going to slow for the corner slightly. Back on. slow, see if it's uh, just how sensitive it is. Right, I'm going to go down one gear. Right, now I'm going to go down two gears. Should definitely pick that up because the rear wheel locked. But we'll try normally. back the other way, see what happens. God, it's windy! Right, I'm going to decelerate a lot now. I'm going to try, I'm going to really go for it now. I have no idea if it's worked or not. I guess you can tell from the sound of the engine how hard I'm engine braking. Okay, I've just reviewed the footage and it seems to work surprisingly well. It might be a little bit sensitive for my liking. I wish there was a sensitivity setting so you could just... I'd like it to come in when I was really sort of decelerating because I don't think that... The amount of deceleration that you're doing at the point that it starts kicking in, I don't think that's enough for someone to go up the back of you uh, if they weren't paying attention. But I suppose, I suppose it's better to be on the, the cautious side. Um, will a flashing light confuse people? I don't think so. I think some people, if you were had bikes riding hard, you might be thinking, why do you keep braking as you go into corners and stuff? Think, oh, don't touch the brakes in the corner, it's just because you're decelerating. But it's definitely doing what it's advertised to do. It's, it's easy to install and it's doing exactly what it says it would. I definitely think the flashing for the deceleration is better than the full brake light because I think that could confuse people more. But the, the flashing, I think, is a good indication that it's something different, but you are slowing down. This is made by a company called Movalyz. Um, it's www.safer-turn.com. I'll put a link in the description. You can go to the company's website if you're interested in one of these. Um, whether you believe in the idea of whether this is required or not is completely down to you. As I say, I'm very much like a lot of people at first, I was thinking, but I just use my hand. But on the odd instance that I don't, that will uh, cover me. So, you know, 
overall, it's pretty good. Oh, and of course, lastly, as I mentioned, I was sent two of these. One for me, and one to give away. So, the way you can win that is nice and simple this time. Just like this video, subscribe to my channel, and just post a comment. Then I'm going to randomly pick one of those comments using a random comment picker website, and I will contact that person and say, hey, give me your address, and I'm going to send it straight to you, and it's all yours. And I'll do that draw one week from the point this video is uploaded, and I will also then update the description in the future to say that the winner's been contacted. So if you've been contacted, you know it's you, and if you haven't been contacted, then you know it's not you. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and thank you to saferturn.com. Uh, it's, it's an interesting product, and it works exactly as you said it would, so fair play on that. Catch you next time. Good breaks too.